You know evil. Subscribe now. Drinking too much water too quickly pushes the normal balance of electrolytes in the body outside safe limits. The level of sodium in the blood must stay within very narrow margin. Too low a concentration of sodium in the blood is called hyponatremia. Other causes are not replacing electrolytes after exertion, lurch burn, severe diarrhea, heart failure, and certain medications. In addition to sodium, other electrolytes that must be kept with a reasonable balance are potassium, chloride, and bicarbonate. Water enters the body orally and leaves the body in urine, sweat, and exhaled water vapor. If water enters the body more quickly, then it can be removed. Body fluids become diluted. As the body tries to balance the electrolyte concentration inside and outside its cells, osmosis makes the blood's concentration of electrolytes, mainly sodium and magnesium, drop relative to the concentration of the electrolytes in the cells, causing the cells to swell. If this swelling occurs in the brain, pressure build up because the bones that make up the skull don't budge. The brain squeezes against the inside of the skull, which impairs brain function. The result may be headaches, nausea, impaired breathing, disorientation, muscle cramps, seizure, coma, and even death. Drinking too much water also puts a heavy burden on the kidneys. They have to work over time to filter out the excess water in the circulatory system. The kidneys don't work like plumbing pipes, which become cleaner the more water you flush through them. Over time, unnecessary wear and tear can damage the specialized capillary bed in each kidney, called the glomerulus. Glomerulus is a network of capillaries that performs the first step of filtering blood, and serious disorientation can eventually lead to kidney failure. The body is marvelous at letting us know how much water do we need. Diet, exercise habits, and the environment will all play a role. If you eat lots of foods naturally rich in water, such as vegetables, fruit, and whole grain cereals, you may not need to drink very much water. Avoiding salty foods will make you need less drinking water too. Doctors say that the best guide to how much water we need is our sense of thirst. 